Good morning, my name is Steve Rennie. I am the Wren Baron, and this is my Wren Baron Learning to Fly YouTube channel. On my last video, you know that we flew from Santa Monica Airport to Los Angeles International, and that's certainly an item I've had on my pilot bucket list for some time. On today's flight, we're gonna be flying from Los Angeles International back to Santa Monica Airport. Now, this was one of the shortest airport to airport flights I think I've ever done in my life. The whole flight was seven minutes from takeoff to landing. But even on a short flight like this one today, there are lessons to be learned. But ironically, the lessons I learned on today's flight didn't happen in the air, they happened on the ground. My great friend and flight instructor, Liz DeStefani, used to tell me all the time, hey, Ren, the flight's not over when the wheels touch the ground. The flight's over when you turn off the engine, so be the pilot all the way to the end. And that includes figuring out what you're gonna do when you land. From a Fox yeah, where are you park? I'm going to head uh, over to Atlantic for a second. Fact, up here. Now, if that seemed like I had a plan, you're wrong. Now, the truth is I spent a lot of time thinking about and planning for a landing at LAX, but I didn't spend nearly enough time thinking about what I would do when I actually got on the ground. And the impact of that is going to be clear in a second. Now, that was the most expensive leak in the history of aviation right there. 142 bucks for two sips of coffee and a little visit to the latrine. But flew into LAX today. <laughs> the other great lesson I learned on today's flight is that flying into LAX International, while it might be very intimidating in your mind, it really is no different than flying into your local airport. All the procedures, all the discipline that you've learned about being a pilot and going through your checklist and so forth applies at LAX just like it does at Santa Monica Airport. So even though the actual flying time today is probably a little over seven minutes, I'm gonna include a lot of the stuff that happened on the ground at LAX so you can get a feel of what it's like to actually play with the big boys and girls at a big airport like LAX. So come along for the ride. Now, before we get started, I have a little confession to make. Notwithstanding the $142 bill I just got, one of the things I do enjoy about flying into FBOs is having a ramp attendant like the gentleman you see out the front window here today. But truth be told, I think I like it much better when I'm arriving than when I'm departing. When you're pulling in, there's only one thing to do, that's turn the engine off. When you're leaving, you got a whole lot more to do. And even though I know he's there to help me, for some strange reason, I feel like I shouldn't keep him waiting. And then what happens is subconsciously I start to rush. And when I rush, I forget stuff and that's not good for anybody. And today at LAX, this guy's gonna be waiting 10 minutes before we pull out of here. So anyway, next time I think I'm gonna go ahead and tell him, hey, have a cup of coffee on me. Okay, let's get started. Let's start by getting the weather. Wow, that was about the longest ATIS recording I've ever heard. But now that we have that in hand, let's get our clearance back to Santa Monica. Los Angeles ground 0768 Fox Sierra at Atlantic with Zulu. I'd like to get a, a clearance to Santa Monica Airport. That's 078 Fox Trot Sierra. I'm 0768 Fox Trot Sierra. Okay, are you IFR or VFR? Uh, I think well, we'll take an IFR. I think there's some clouds over Santa Monica. 768 Fox Trot Sierra, give me a few minutes to get that in and just monitor this frequency. We got it, I'll monitor this frequency. Okay, 
Eight Fox Trust there, ready to copy. Ready to copy, Eight Fox Trust, Jim. Here's Eight Fox Trust here, clear to Santa Monica Airport. On departure, fly runway heading. Radar vectors, LAX 046 radial. Then Elmu intersection, that's Echo, Lima, Mike, Oscar, Oscar. Victor 186. Dart intersection, direct. Maintain 3,000. Expect 5,000, five minutes after departure. Departure frequency 124.3. Squawk 4637. Let me read that back to you. Clear to Santa Monica. We're going to fly runway heading and then radar vectors to the LAX 046 radio. Then Elmo, Victor 186, start to the direct. 3,000 to start, 5,000 and 5, 124.3 on the frequency 4637 on the squad. Here's a buckshot there. There's a buckshot there. Read back, correct? Okay, now that we have our clearance, I'm going to program it into four flight and then transfer it over to the MFD. Then back to the flight plan. I'm going to select the OBS button on the PFD, then the course button on the FMS, and then I'll dial in 046 for the LAX radial. Next, I'll set 3,000 feet as my initial departure altitude and altitude select. And then finally, I'm going to set my departure frequency for 124.3 and then contact ground for my taxi clearance. Flight ground 0768 Foxtrot Sierra to Atlantic ready to taxi. 0768 Foxtrot Sierra, LA ground runway 25 left, taxi via Alpha, hold short of Foxtrot. 25 left, left via Alpha, hold short of Foxtrot. Okay, I think I got everything programmed and we're ready to go, but in fact, I left one item out, so let's see if you can figure it out before ATC does. The first thing that becomes obvious to you when you land at LAX is just how sprawling, just how big and how complicated it is. So you can imagine how happy I am to have a tool like Surface Watch to help me navigate my way around. 8 Fox Trust Sierra, squawk should be 4637. 4637, Well, I missed that one. Thankfully, the tower guy was paying attention and we got it fixed. Echo. The other thing that stands out for me at LAX is just how long these runways are. Runway 25 right where I'll be taking off today is damn near 13,000 feet long. So that gives you plenty of time to go through your checklist while you're taxiing out on the full length. 8 Fox Trust Sierra, monitor tower 2095. And you won't see many Cessna 172s or Cirruses parked along the way. November 7, 68 Fox Trot Sierra, Los Angeles Tower due to wake turbulence. The uh, runway 25 right from the full length for departure. Turn left now, cross runway 25 left, hold short of runway 25 right. Cross 25 left, hold short 25 right. East Fox Trot Sierra. I apologize, Ace Fox Trout's here. I missed the readback. Just verify, hold short now of runway 25 right. Holding short uh, 25 right, Ace Fox Trout's here. Yeah. America 2543, wind 1306. Arnav Docker, runway 25 right, full length, quick for takeoff. Arnav Docker, full length, quick for takeoff, runway 25 right, American 2543. Alaska 703, runway 25 right, full length, line up and way, traffic will cross downfield. November 8, Fox Trout's here at Taxiway Fox Trot, cross runway 25 right, turn right on Bravo to the full length. Uh, at Fox Trot, we're going to cross 25 right uh, on the full length at Bravo in Fox Trot Sierra. Thank you, the Alaska 737 will hold in position. The Alaska 737 will hold in position. I don't hear that a lot at Santa Monica, and i got to be honest, it's a lot of fun. Delta 1694 LA Tower, uh, hold for release. It'll be about uh, maybe a minute or two. All right, now, holding short 24 left, Delta 1694. Oh, it's kind of on an 
2543, connect to departure. Mr. Parcher, American 2543, good day. Alaska 703, RNF Docker, runway 25 right, cleared for takeoff. Cleared for takeoff, 25 right, Alaska 703. Sky City 285, runway 25 right, line up and wave. Line up, wave 25 right, Sky West 7285. Tower, good morning, Frontier 403 is Lima. Frontier flight 403, LA Tower, runway 25 left, cleared to land, wind 130 at 7, good morning. Uh, good morning, clear to land, 25 left, runway 403. China Southern, 8401, heavy LA Tower, runway 25 left, cleared to land, wind 130 at 7. Correction on the runway assignment, China Southern, 8401, heavy runway 24 right, cleared to land. Runway 24 right, cleared to land, China Southern, 8401. Coast Guard Copter 6604, keep your squad code, contact Torrance Tower, and I believe a 133.07 will probably be the best frequency for them this morning. Coming for 8 Fox Trot Sierra Caution Wake Turbulence, runway 25 right, line up and wait. 25 right, line up and wait, 8 Fox Trot Sierra. Delta 1694, runway 24 left, line up and wait, waiting for one more off the south side. Now the controller clearly said line up and wait, so I'm not sure why I decided to hold short here, perhaps because I was a little worried about the wake turbulence from that 737, but in any event, I'm holding short here and it turns out not to be much of a problem, uh, thankfully. November 8, Fox Trot, Sierra, when you pass the tower, turn right and fly heading 271, runway 25 right, clip for takeoff. Tower fly right uh, 271, 8-5-6, clear for takeoff, 8 5 six, there. Now, I knew I was going to get a vector after takeoff, but I wasn't expecting a vector that started with once you get to the tower, turn right 271, but hey, it just makes this Skyway a fun day. Skyway 5285, All right, so here I am on runway 25 right, and I'm lining up on the runway, and I'm going to use every bit of it just like I've been trained, all 13,000 feet of it. And Delta 1694, hold in position. Uh, the last one's rolling off the south side now. It's actually a Cirrus. Let them get in the upwind and then let's turn you in trail. Hold in position. Hold in position, four left, Delta 1694. Thank you, Frontier. Now, as I listen to that tower radio call, I can't help but think it's probably been a long time since that Delta pilot's had to wait for a Cirrus to cross the runway. But hey, that's what makes this day memorable. As I clam out, I can't help but turn into a bit of a tourist again, looking at all the iconic sites that I've looked at so many times. LL106 Heavy LA Tower, good morning. Expect to park in about two minutes. As I approach the tower, I start my right turn to 271, which is going to take me across the airport. Front Cross, runway 25 right, turn right on Bravo, contact ground. Cross 25 right, that's Juliet. Go to Bravo, right turn, contact ground, on 2543. As I start to gain a little altitude and get a look down the coastline, it starts to occur to me that perhaps I can get into Santa Monica without doing an IFR route. Delta 1694, fly heading 210, make that turn as soon as able, wind 120 at 8, runway 24 left, clear for takeoff. Heading 210, as soon as able, clear for takeoff, 24 left, Delta 1694. LL0, Christian 106 heavy, runway 24 left, line up and wait. Line up and wait, 24 left, LL106. November 8, Fox Trail, Sierra. Traffic's departing behind you off the north complex. They will turn in trail. Contact SoCal Departure 124.3. 124.3, thanks for helping back us here. Good morning. Approach zero seven six eight five cuts here one thousand eight hundred climbing three thousand off of LAX. If I can, I'd like to cancel my IFR just go up the coast here to Santa Monica. Number seven six eight Fox Trot Sierra SoCal departure IFR cancellation is received and you're cleared through the Bravo airspace via your own navigation northbound to Santa Monica. Uh, approved through the uh, Bravo uh, with my own navigation eight Fox Trot Sierra IFR canceled. Thank you. As you can see right here, here's just another reminder that had I done a better job of planning my departure from LAX than I did with my arrival, I would have been in much better shape. 
Clearly, flying a direct route from LAX to Santa Monica would have saved me a lot of time and energy. And next time, knowing what I know now, that's the route I'm going to ask for. But for now, I'm going to turn off the autopilot and pull back the power and start my descent into Santa Monica. Okay, 